I, I guess for you guys, when, uh, when, when your story is told in 20, 30, 40 years from now, what, what would you like the story to be? What, what would be your definition of success and your def def definition of what you've achieved or what you hope to achieve? Um, okay. Um, I think for us is, um, uh, government is a truly indigenous uh, internet business. Uh, that was started with um, I just three uh, young men, no experience, no funding, um, no capital, and we 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 were very clear we uh, within ourselves that we, want, we wanted to do something uh, very different uh, in the workplace. Uh, the recruiting uh, industry to disrupt the industry and I think that for us is a, is a key uh, driver that has been I've been working day and night uh, 24 7 just to make sure uh, it's a reality and I think for us at the end of the day is to be to get to a point and we in Nigeria and also by extension uh, other countries we, we move into where job man becomes synonymous with jobs. Mm. When you're talking about the no do's uh, segment, it's all about indomie. So uh, that, that that will take some time and to also take uh, some some years of brand building and also some years of adding value. Not only to the, uh, to the employer side of the market but also to the uh, job seekers, candidate side of the market. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's that, that's where that's where we want to be. Uh, that, um, and also uh, talking about partnerships, I think one of the biggest problems uh, we have seen around in Nigeria in terms of building businesses and uh, being around. Okay, I want to hold 100 percent of nothing. Uh, and if I were to do job man alone, I'll not be here today. I think uh, there is always strength in partnership. I think, uh, and I say this a lot, when you when you when you have a broom and you have a broomstick, you can break a broomstick, or it's, it's impossible to break a broom. So there is a there is strength in partnership. Uh, allies are very important in business and life. And yeah, you can always complement each other's strengths. So if you're thinking of any idea, the first thing you need to do is not to be screaming funding. The first thing you need to do is to find a co-founder where you can complement each other's uh, skills, where you can also complement uh, each other's uh, uh, temperament. And yeah, obviously when you, when you come together, most times when people come together, great things happen. And some of the most successful uh, champions in different uh, category. When you talk about the economy of Nigeria, you look at banking, look at what uh, the GT by guys have done, look at Access Bank. When you look at uh, other uh, sectors like uh, other sectors like uh, oil and gas, look at what the Sahara uh, guys have done. So. It, and also Ando as well in the oil and gas sector. Uh, this uh, uh, Ando is not the quality of boosting; it's a team effort. And a lot of time you discover that you can only go uh, far going alone. You can go further by going with the team. Uh, so I think that's that's something extremely fundamental if you're thinking about uh, starting a business tomorrow. And when you look at uh, operating in a business or starting a business from Nigeria, it's an extremely, you are dealing with, uh, it is an extreme uh, or certainty. There's a lot of uh, uncertainty around uh, building a business. So uh, there comes a time where um, emotionally uh, you need a lot of support. Psychologically, you need uh, some help. 
and also in terms of your perspective about how things should be done, you also need a lot of support in terms of, okay, come on, what are you thinking? You have the fact on the table, let's deal with the fact and forget about opinions. So those things are very important. Uh, and I think for us as well, uh, uh, outside the partnership, by extension, outside the two of us, it, I've also been understanding and respecting the importance of seeking for help. Um, you can only become uh, very good at what you do by increasing the body of knowledge that you have, by always calling for help, even up to very subtle things about hiring people. Should I put him on a full-time or a part-time basis? There are a lot of difference between having a full-time employee and having a part-time employee. We talk about tax, uh, ta uh, taxes uh, overhead and uh, pension overhead, health insurance overhead. Are those the kind of things you want to bring on board as a small business? So there are a lot of complexities around growing the business and you just, you just need to be out there. You just need to be asking a lot of questions, even the very uh, seemingly stupid questions, but you keep on asking a lot of questions. And I think uh, one important thing, the element that is also extremely important uh, is uh, curiosity. When, you, when you're always asking questions, uh, if you've been asking questions um, for a while, I guess to a point you become uh, a very good uh, uh, interviewer, then you can ask the right set of questions and uh, that will help you. That will really help you in knowing what is truly important, whether you're in fashion or whether you're in retail or whether you're uh, trying to do an internet business. You, you, you'll be very, very granular. I can, I can see that. Uh, was, at, from when you started the speaker series, you you've improved on, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the way you ask your questions and, yeah, the kind of stories you want to, to pull out from the interviews. So it's, it's, a, pra it's a practice team, but I think uh, knowing how to ask the right set of questions is, I think, is one of the most important skill sets you can ever uh, develop as a new developer. Just being able to really drill down on what is truly important. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, good to have you. So I guess we're opening it up to you guys now to ask them direct questions. As always, please keep it brief. No statements and one question per person.